Welcome to Module 4 of Infernia's Training Sessions. To modify the height of a drawer, select the particular drawer and in the design panel, select the option drawer. Herein, you can go into construction option and you will see dimension parameter. When you open the drop down here, the height of the particular drawer will be specified here. In case you want to increase or decrease it, you can modify it herein. First, you need to uncheck the fixed height option and post that you can modify it as to whatever dimensions or height you require. Let's say I require a 450 mm height drawer. Then the height of this particular drawer increases and the height of the drawer above is adjusted automatically as per the available dimensions. Additional drawers in your cabinet, then select the drawer where you which you want to modify. And in the under partitions, you'll be able to see an option of add drawer. Herein, you can select the number of drawers that you want in place of the selected drawer. As you can see, there is one drawer here, and I want to use the same space to add two drawers, then I can just select one because I'm adding one more drawer and click outside. And as you can see, now two drawers are added here. These two drawers are now added. To change the material of a particular cabinet, select the cabinet and in the quick access options, you'll see under materials the option of changing the finishes of carcass or shutter when you check the carcass finish you can see the external finish if i change the external finish to let's say american maple then as you can see the external finish is now changed however the internal is still of the same finish that was there before so if i want to change the internal finish then i need to select the cabinet again and under internal finish, I can select whichever one is required. Let's say I'm taking this particular finish. Then the internal finish is also revised. In the same manner, you can make any changes that are required to the core material and the edge binding material as well. To change the material on the shutter, select the cabinet again. And when you go into shutter option, you'll see external finish and internal finish. Suppose you want to make the external finish into a blue shade, then the entire inter external finish will change to blue. However, as you can see, the internal finish is still same. So, if I want to change the internal finish, again I can go into shutter and select the internal finish as required. So, now the internal finish is also changed. If I want to make changes to one particular shutter of a cabinet, then I need to select the cabinet and go into panel. Herein you will see material. You can make the required change in the external finish. If I am selecting absolute white, then only that particular shutter will get changed. You can play around with the different finishes that are available and accordingly create a design of your choice. You can also make changes if required to the skirting you'll see a skirting tab here click on that and select the material option as per your requirement you can make the change of the external finish and the skirting will be changed when you're trying to change any particular finish you can see that the first option is the drop down wherein the most used options are available Next to it, you'll get the clone material option. So when you click on that, you can clone any particular material and change the texture and finish of it to use it uh, in your design. This creates a copy of the original material for you to use and acts as material number two. There's also the option for you to fetch from our store. When you click on that, you have different options that are available and when you click on the drop down next to the group here 
you can see whichever finish you want to use like let's say i am selecting laminate then the different types of laminates that are available will be shown here and they are also grouped as per their type like solid pattern stone etc so as per this you can select whichever pattern laminate you require and the same will be installed in your model in cases when you want the cabinet panel of your last module to be finished then you can select the particular cabinet and go into panel herein you will get the option of mark as exposed panel in this case it will take the same material specification of the shutters such that your model has an overall finished look select the particular cabinet and in the design panel you will see the option of countertop here in next to show you have a toggle option which you can enable and disable when you turn it off the countertop visibility is turned off for this particular cabinet and when you click on it again then the visibility is turned on again so when you click on the drop down next to countertop you can see the various other options that you have suppose you want to create an extension option for let's say creating a breakfast counter then click on the drop down next to it by default there's a 40 mm extension on the front as per industry standards and any other extension that you want to create can be input uh, you can input the value here and the extension will be created let's say i'm creating uh, an extension of 600 mm on the right hand side i have inputted the value i'm clicking outside so an extension of 600 mm is now created you can also add accessories to your particular cabinet and the add accessory option you have add sink wherein you can select the sink that is required and a sink will be added to that particular cabinet Similarly under the countertop option you also have an option to add accessories if you click on the drop down next to it you get different types of accessories that you can add suppose you want to add a hob then you can just select the hob that is required from the carousel that appears and let's say i'm selecting this option and as you can see a hob has been added if you want to shift the location of the uh, accessory added then you can use the position options here and if you want to change the dimensions you can check on the dimension option here you can also create any rotation that you require for this particular accessory as per the designing requirement that you have press on the shift key on your keyboard and select the units that you want to group so i have selected these three cabinets here in now you will get the option to group elements so click on group elements and all three items will be put in one group now when you select this particular group you will see a group tab appear here here in you can make changes to the common properties of the selection so when i go down so when i click on the drop down i can see elements like i can change the material suppose i want to change the shutter material the external finish if i select absolute white then the change will reflect in all the cabinets similarly i can also make changes to skirting countertop and i can also add lights to all these elements when you select and move the entire group moves as a single unit this is a very helpful tool when you are creating lighting for your entire home 